right, Pioneer Day. Pioneer Day in Kokusuzu and Jujutsu. That's kind of the roughest one. I think so. All right, all right. Yeah. Catch the last part of the July 24th Pioneer Parade. Whoa. So <laughs> in Jujutsu. Whoa. Well, there's some more of it. There's some more of it. So, yep, I think I'll just do it, okay? I think I'll give a message. You know, what's Pioneer Day all about, okay? How about a quick history lesson? So, you know, we had the Catholic Church. Uh, Christ was killed. Most of the apostles hung upside down and everything. And then about 300 years later, some guys get together and they decide who God is, okay? 300 years. Council of Nicaea. And that basically, Constantine wanted to have political power, so basically that's where Catholic Church originates. And we went through a lot of stuff. Middle Ages, Dark Ages. And then uh, Martin Luther kind of thought, you know, he detected a little bit of problemas with the Catholic Church, so he uh, protested. Hence the Protestant movement. And a lot of people started reading the Bible then, around then with the good Gutenberg Press and everything. Um, they started to find out that, hmm, maybe it's not good for men to be celibate and women to become nuns. And you kind of think about that. That really doesn't uh, fulfill the commandment to multiply and replenish the earth. So we have Protestants, Catholics, and of course, you know, other religions worldwide. And then America, there's a homegrown Mormon uh, religion here, and it's the Mormon Church, okay, Joe Smith. Read James 1, 5. Wanted to go direct to God, so he did go direct to God. God visited him back in uh, 1820, back east. And then uh, Joe Smith restored the, the original gospel. And uh, the Mormons were persecuted a lot. They ended up killing Joseph Smith and his brother when he was 39 in 1844. And uh, the state of Missouri issued an extermination order to kill all Mormons, kill them, to kill them, exterminate them. So the Mormons left and they came out here to the Rocky Mountains to escape being murdered. And uh, by the way, the U.S. government backed that. So the U.S. government didn't protect the Mormons either. So they came all the way out here and they set up a new system. And uh, it was the Kingdom of God. It was done, frankly, by the Council of 50. The capital was Fillmore. Went all the way down to Los Angeles, Yerba Buena, which is now San Francisco. And they set up the Kingdom of God. And they kind of lived here. They got to practice their religion. And anybody can study the old pioneer religion. All right, man. <laughs> Good art. That must be a picture. And uh, so they were able to live kind of for a little while. And then, of course, the people from the East, you know, with their traditional thing, which a Catholic church, Catholic church introduced monogamy, which, uh, you know, as soon as you get tired of your wife, you divorce her and marry a younger one. That's that's where monogamy come from. You dump, you dump her, get the young one. Dump, get the young. Dump, get the young. But the Mormons, uh, they believe in a different type of system where you honor all women forever. And so that's what happened. We got a guy for city council here. And so after a while, uh, the U.S. government came out and uh, wanted to get the Mormons again and wipe them out. So they sent, they sent out Johnson Army to, to get the Mormons. And uh, Joe Smith, or excuse me, Joseph was murdered. So Brigham, Brigham did a bunch of stuff to uh, thwart that. And they didn't exterminate the Mormons out here either. But then the, oh gosh, they got it here. So then the Mormons decided to, uh, I don't know, they started giving up things until they capitulated on the economic system, which pretty much people were jealous of because the Mormons were prospering big time out here. And then what happens, they came out here and uh, they went down the aisles and all the Mormon church said, this side Republicans, this side Democrats. So it split up the Mormons. And then things got different and different and different until I talked to one general authority one time and he uh, said, you know, they pretty much the LDS church about 15 years behind the world. That was Elder Scott, who was the mission president of Argentina when I was down living in Cordoba, Argentina. 
So I caught the end of this. That's some Mormon history, and uh, it's out there now. It used to be suppressed, but now on the internet, if you want to know what uh, Brigham Young believed, uh, the one thing that's kind of end this video with, but uh, what they taught back then, what the the first principle of the gospel was to know the true nature of God. That was the first principle. I believe in freedom of speech and religion. And here I am at Fiesta Days. Once again, got to go the, to the rodeo. And I just wanted to give a little history there. But you can always study it. Things have changed. But uh, if somebody tells me I can't read a book, I'll probably buy it and read it and study it. Rock on, everybody. I'm glad I caught the end because there's thousands of people here. 200 people up in Salt Lake City. God bless America, God bless freedom, God bless freedom of religion. Rock on.